today I'd like to go over the setup menu. The setup menu is in your menu settings and it's the first one that comes up, which is setup. And then you're gonna push enter. And again, you will have four different setup options here and a temporary. So we'll go over um, setting up a customized um, setup for you to use. And remember that setups are used um, so that you can customize for different uh, material thicknesses as well as things like vacuum. So we'll go over each one of these. I will do videos explaining the feed comp and drop position at a later date but what this does is it corrects for the media um, feed amount and the feed pump and the drop positions um, correct for drop position for the bi-directional printing. So if you're seeing fuzziness, um, sometimes you can redo the feed comp and drop positions and we'll go over that at a later time. And then of course you have your option of logical seek Remember when you see host in these areas, that means it's going to ask for information either from the machine um, settings that was set up at the time of install, or it is going to ask for media from Rastrolink. Rastrolink has the options to control some of the stuff in the setup and some of it, it does not. So remember that um, logic, uh, logical seek sets the range of the carriage movement, meaning if you're only going to print at 12 by 12 on your 54 inch material, it is only going to go, the carriage will only pass the area of printing and then come back when the logic seek is set to off. That means that the carriage during printing is going to go all the way um, down the media and come back before it prints. So that's what um, Logic Seek is. So I really like having Logic Seek on. Overprints, if you don't want to set your overprints in Rastrolink, um, you can set overprints here as well, um, up to nine times if you would like to do that. I like to keep that on host because I most of the time we only do one overprint, correct? Drying time is really um, going to be for most of the solvent machines. You can add drying time um, after each print so that if you're printing in high resolution and that image is a little more wet, then of course you can add drying time after the print um, before it goes on the take up. Then you have um, margin left and margin right. Again, you have the option of host, which is what um, Rastrolink sets, and Rastrolink margins are automatically set to 15 millimeters. So remember um, margin left. This sets the offset value from the um, left margin and the right um, standard margin of 15 millimeters. Remember that the margin should be at least minus 0.5 millimeters when using the media holder on your media. This eliminates the risk of printing on top of that media holder. Also remember that um, the RIP software Rastrolink does not allow the user to specify margins. then you can um, set for the vacuum. Again, the vacuum you have host, weak, standard, and strong, and I change this depending on what type of media that I have. If I have a banner material, I will set the vacuum at um, weak so that that media does not get caught up in the vacuum area. Then if I'm printing on something like a Mylar film, or a really thin uh, film media, I will set that to strong so that it does not slip through there. I leave that uh, feed speed to host. Then auto cleaning. Auto cleaning sets the condition to start head cleaning automatically. 
So using this setting, if you choose, so auto cleaning, you have the options uh, to set this um, uh, to time or off or file or length. So we'll go through each one of those file, meaning that I want after you print 10 files, I want you to come back and do a cleaning meaning what type of cleaning you can decide whether you want it hard or soft or normal this helps if you leave the machine unattended that after it prints three or four files it will come over and do an automatic soft cleaning and go back to printing which helps make sure you don't have any nozzles dropping out while um, unattended printing Remember that if you set the cleaning check on, that sets whether the nozzle check system is going to be performed um, after the head cleaning is completed. That will um, increase your printing time, but it can help if you are having unattended printing so that it will run that nozzle check for you. Make sure all of your nozzles are firing before moving on to the next job. So that's what the setup um, auto cleaning file means. So then you have the option of length, meaning you can set the interval after it uh, prints three feet, four feet, 10 feet. Um, then it will come down and perform a soft cleaning or a normal cleaning or a hard cleaning. And then you can choose whether you want that nozzle check on or off. Okay. So other than length, then you have time. Time meaning after the machine is on or printing for 10 minutes, and then you can all go all the way up to 100, I think, you can go up to 120 minutes. Again, after 120 minutes, the machine will come on, it will do a hard cleaning, a soft cleaning, um, a normal cleaning. Again, you can decide whether you want that uh, nozzle check on or off. So that's what the auto cleaning section um, looks like for your setup auto cleaning. Right? Then we go to interval wiping. Interval wiping sets up time for, start, uh, for starting automatic wiping of the print head. The print head will be wiped even during printing when the time has elapsed um, printing. So again, you can do interval print um, wiping uh, for every five minutes, 20 minutes, all the way up to 255 minutes. I like to keep that on off. Waveforms, of course, we're going to um, not mess with any of those waveforms. Those waveforms are set specifically for um, when they set up the printer. So I like to keep those on default. Then you have your pinch rollers and you can decide what pinch roller settings you want here in your setup, whether you want them all on low. Medium, high, and you can set each one. Right? Low, medium, high, you cannot set these to off. Right? So you can set your pinch rollers here. UV mode. So UV mode, you can turn off or on or not to print. Again, this just set turns on and off your UV lamps. UV adjustment value. What that is, is you can change the preset UV lamp brightness. So remember that in the minus direction, it reduces your hardness, and in the plus direction, it increases your hardness. So make sure that you check your print results after adjusting this if you feel like you need to for stickiness and odor, meaning that um, the higher the adjustment or the lower the adjustment, it will depend on um, how much the lamps have cured the ink. Maps, maps for maps. We also set to auto. You can have um, auto, which means it's on. You can have manual maps, 
but I like setting auto. We can go through manual real quick if you want to. I never want you to set your maps to off because it will decrease your quality of print, but you can have um, the manual mode if you would like, and you can increase or decrease your smoothness level as well as your speed in that area. But again, I like to keep that on auto. LT mode. LT mode sets if the machine needs to um, have your ink be more flexible. But also remember that um, this can also change your prints stickiness and odor and how much the ink has been cured or not and then of course you can do a setup reset which will set all of your values back to default so that is stuff that you can do for setup again the setup menu is very important if you're wanting to have drop positions for a thin media compared to uh, drop positions for a thicker vinyl or a wallpaper material or a banner. Your drop positions will need to be different so that your quality um, can be optimized. Again, we will go through those drop positions and feed comp at a different time. Thank you for joining me today. And if you have any more questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to Mamaki. Thank you.